Jim, today I was, for some reason, reminiscing about the number of conversations I've had with people who, once they find out that I'm a biblical Christian, will ask, oh, so you believe, fill in the blank, go to hell. You know, Buddhists, Muslims, Mormons, atheists, whatever, go to hell. And I, I try my best to provide a context in answering the question. Uh, the first thing I usually will say is, look, no biblical Christian revels in the idea of somebody being eternally separated from God in a place of such pain and suffering. No biblical Christian wants that. We're motivated in quite the opposite direction as that we're trying to help people avoid that. Secondly, as biblical Christians, we understand that it's only by the grace of God that we don't end up there. The playing field is very level when it comes to uh, sin and separation from God. And, and so when I hear those words, oh, you believe someone's going to hell, it actually hurts. There's a broken heartedness to it. There's a tragedy to it that informs not only how I answer the question, but how I look at life and my, my responsibility as an ambassador of the kingdom of God. And then I remind the person that God says in his word, he wishes that none would perish. None would be separated from him eternally. None would suffer that kind of torment. God wishes that no one would would face that. That's a choice we make. That's not a choice God makes. That's a choice we make. If we choose to reject God and the offer he's made through Jesus Christ, that's on us. He doesn't want anyone there. The hell is designed for Satan and his demonic forces. Why would anyone choose the, and that's for a whole nother video discussion. The point here is that the, the concept of hell as a punishment is, is ultimately part of God's grace, believe it or not. It's him showing us, look, I'm giving you a choice. You can be a part of my kingdom, the love, the grace, the mercy, the forgiveness, the provision, uh, the protection, all those, the relationship with God that I'm inviting you into that. I, I don't want you to go and be said, I don't want, and I understand why there are some self-professed Christians of recent who've even questioned whether hell, uh, you know, whether there's actually a place where people go who have, I always, when I would, students would ask that question, I would say, look, here's the, this, I believe there's a hell because the Bible tells me there's a hell, but I also don't want to find out and I don't want you to find out. Uh, and so the simple answer being yes, people who reject God are going to be eternally separated from him and experience pain and suffering that's beyond a man. I share the gospel. That's why I say, come, be a part of God's kingdom, part of God's family. Give away your past, present, and future. Give away everything and trust God 